We are on our way to Bryce Canyon National Park in Utah. I'm so excited. We got some weather, so I think we're gonna get a good little snowy trip. So right now we're in Red Canyon, which is not Bryce Canyon, but it's kind of on the way. And you have these iconic, what are they, archways? <laughs> Tunnels. <laughs> but you've probably seen these in photos when you Google Utah. This comes up a lot, these really cool. A tunnels through Red Canyon. So we're almost at Bryce. We never drive. I know. <laughs> now we're talking traction. We are just on the out skirts of Bryce Canyon and we're gonna do a little hike. This is the Mossy Cave hike. It's less than a mile total and it is one of the most popular trails in the park in the summer. This parking lot is packed and it's just, I don't know, not really my thing, but here in the winter there's no one here. <laughs> so we're gonna go enjoy this, get a little exercise after being in the car for a little while and then head into the main part of the park. Then I'm gonna take some photos. Got my new camera, I'm excited to update some photos. So part of the reason I wanted to come to Rice this time was to actually get some new photos for a blog post that I'm working on for winter here. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. It is already just so incredible. It's so quiet, so peaceful. It snowed last night. Okay, let's roll. We forgot our little trekking poles. Mm -hmm. Alright, that was a good little walk after being in the car for a while. So now we're gonna go make some lunch, get to a nice viewpoint, have lunch with a view. Bryce Canyon National Park was the first national park that I ever visited when I first moved to Utah like eight or nine years ago now. It's been a while. I remember it so vividly because I was driving through Red Canyon and you go through that arch and got to Bryce and I was blown away. Like I remember that feeling of awe and just, just wonderment really. Like I couldn't believe what I was seeing and that this pit of hoodoos and red rock was just like there. You know me, I'm always packing my food and planning my meals, but I knew that there's really not a lot of food options here. So I made some focaccia last night and some tuna salad this morning and we're just gonna make quick little sandwiches. Did garlic and rosemary with this. Ain't gonna get any food from me, little crow. <laughs> Easy lunch. Mmm. So good. It's just so pretty.
after that first trip to Bryce, I remember I called my dad up and I was like, dad, you have got to come out here. This is incredible. I've never seen anything like this. And I just went on and on about how cool this was. And that following summer, I actually planned a trip for him to come out to Utah and we went to Bryce and to Zion National Park on a trip. So when I come to Bryce, I'm just kind of reminded of those trips and that actually is what started a yearly trip that I do with my dad where he comes out west and I take him to a national park and or just somewhere cool and we hike and we camp and that was kind of the trip that really started it and being able to take my dad to these places so he can feel that sense of awe it's just really what it's all about is building these memories whose lens is that Fine. This is Nick's lens. I'm sure he's like sweating as he watches me use this. We're just going from all little viewpoints. This time we're walking along the rim, so it's gonna be a little walk, but uh, very pretty, I'm sure. I'm just gearing up to be outside for a while. We'll see. I don't know if sunset's gonna be good, but if it is, we'll be here for it. <laughs> it's snowing. <laughs> so slow because I just keep stopping every few seconds to take photos and there's definitely some wind and snow coming through so it's pretty cool weather. <sighs> bone broth here we just heat up the water and everything and it's just so nice and warm because it's very cold the temperature is dropping I think it's last I read it's supposed to get down to two degrees Fahrenheit tonight so uh, we are not pitching a tent in that <laughs> we're gonna go to a hotel in town after sunset and then get up early and hike tomorrow morning but yeah I'm just taking a little break from the cold with something nice and warm <laughs> Snack time before I hit the pool. One mile hike this morning. I was filming another video for my channel on some gear and some winter stuff, but it's super windy here, as you can see and hear probably. So we're gonna head back to the car now. <laughs> Bryce 
Bryce Canyon National Park and Zion National Park are pretty close together so we decided to make it into a little road trip loop and come down to Zion just to see Zion in the winter as well because we haven't been here in a couple of years. So we're just gonna hike and take some cool photos and enjoy the insanely beautiful red rock. It's also quite a bit lower in elevation so it's a bit warmer <laughs> than Bryce. Another little hike. Going on one last little hike before we head home. Visiting these parks again, I'm just thinking about those memories and thinking about that trip with my dad and just laughing in my head about you know all the the funny moments on that trail I think at the end of the day that's kind of what it's about for me is building these memories not just seeing these places but having these shared memories with people that I love it's just such a special thing it doesn't have to be fancy it doesn't have to cost a lot you don't have to like go on all the hikes but really just to be here and take in this incredible scenery is just something that I, I try to always put in perspective and not take for granted. I don't know if it gets much better than this view right here, right? Look at all the cacti. <sighs> Back in the car and I am so muddy. <laughs> uh, but we are gonna head back to the city now. We got like a good amount of miles in the last couple days, so I'm feeling feeling good. Um, eat some snacks. And, oh, actually, I'll show you this. This is a new thing. While we're driving home, I am going to knit. This is my very first and only project I've ever tried to knit. I went to a little class a week or two ago, and so I'm making a hat eventually. <laughs> And I really wanted to get into knitting because I love wool clothing and I've seen these beautiful wool sweaters. I've wanted one and I was looking to buy one and they were really expensive and I, you know, just was like, maybe I can make that. I love to DIY anything. Pretty much, I'm always asking myself, can I make that? <laughs> and so that is how the knitting has been begun. This is wool. So if you are a knitter, send me your tips, send me your resources in the comments below because it's really fun and I'm excited to see all the cool things that I could potentially make one day. <laughs> but for now, it's just a hat. And I'm gonna do that while we're driving back to 